The Kia EV6 is about to gain a far more powerful variant called the GT. With 576 horsepower, all-wheel drive, and some heady performance claims, it will sit at the top of the EV6 lineup above the light, wind, and GT line trims. This version also probably previews tons of what the approaching N model of the associated Hyundai Ioniq 5N will offer. We've already pushed the EV6 GT in Europe, and now we have affirmation of its US specifications ahead of its arrival on our shorelines later this year. The EV6 GT's front and rear electric motors offer a complete of 576 horsepower and 545 pound-feet of torque. That's a whole lot greater than the modern-day most powerful model of the EV6, the 320 HP dual motor version. That model already were given to 60 miles per hour in an excellent 4.5 seconds in our testing, but the GT could be quicker still, and faster at the top quit. Kia claims that the EV6 GT will get to 60 miles per hour in 3, 4 seconds and move on to a pinnacle velocity of 161 miles per hour. The improved cognizance on energy and performance hurts the EV6 GT's range estimate, which sits at a paltry 206 miles. It has the same 77.4-kWh battery percent as different variations, but this is 104 miles less than the longest variety version of the EV, the Rear Wheel Force Long Range version, EPA rated at 310 miles. Even the EV6 a base model, the Rear Wheel Pressure model with the smaller 58.0 kWh battery P, C, outpaces the GT with its 232 mile variety rating. Adaptive dampers, an electronically managed limited slip differential, and larger front and rear brakes are fashionable on the GT. 21-inch wheels are wrapped in Goodyear Eagle F1 tires, although Kia hasn't distinctive if their summer tires are all-season rubber. There's also a unique set of pressure modes that consists of a drift mode that directs extra electricity to the rear wheels for power sliding antics. There are also newly to be had artificial sounds supposed to make the EV soundtrack extra dramatic. Inside, the principal differences encompass recreation seats, neon green accents, and GT trademarks. The front and rear ends actually have a barely exclusive appearance, despite the fact that the GT isn't all that clean to differentiate from the less powerful GT line version that also benefits from appearance tweaks over lesser models. Kia hasn't yet introduced pricing for the GT, but we reckon it'll begin at over $60,000 given that a GT line expenses $57,695. It will arrive at U.S. dealerships inside the fourth sector of this 12 months.